Just to spend a ton of generosity since the flood ripped through parts of Ellicott City here and just completely destroyed Main Street. A lot of people have come out. They've left donations, especially here at St. Peter's Episcopal Church. And one of those guys is Joey Fanoni, owner of Pizza to Joey. Uh, this is a veteran owned and operated business here. And we're just so glad that Joey woke up early enough to come out and visit us after hours here yesterday, just feeding some of those displaced. Joey, tell me, what was it like to get out here and to just help so many people who are stressed out and just trying to deal with uh, a big loss right now. Good morning, Mika. Um, you know, it was the least we could do. Uh, we operate in this general area, and on Sunday when I saw what was going on, the first thing I said to myself is I can't stand by and do nothing. So my team and I, we came out yesterday, and we served uh, some displaced residents, shop owners, uh, volunteers, and other relief workers. Mm -hmm. What I love so much about this, I asked you if your business was out of Ellicott City. No, you have no connection. This is just something that you wanted to do specifically. And you described the mood out here yesterday when so many people showed up. You fed almost 100 people yesterday. And just take us back to what it was like to be among so many people who were just trying to bounce back. Well, I mean, you know, was, you could see the, the stress and in their situation. And so the least I could do is just serve up a little bit of pizza, right? Everybody loves pizza. And so, you know, I hope we brought a few smiles to a few faces. People seem generally pleased, but, um, you know, they're, they're in a bad situation right now. So if we can come out and serve a little bit of food and kind of help them out a little bit, that's the least we could do. Absolutely. Where can people find you, Joey? And when do you guys plan to get back out here? If you go to pizzadejoey.com, we have our schedule up and uh, you can see where we are and when we're operating. And we hope to come back out, hopefully, within the next couple of weeks. Again, help Mother Angel and those others here at uh, St. Peter's. Absolutely, because the need does not end here. All right, thank you so much, Joey, for that. And we're going to check back in with Joey the next hour and tell you a little bit more about the efforts going on here in Ellicott City. Live from Ellicott City, Makia Turner, back to you guys.